My name is Danielle Ion. I am a research scientist at the Georgia Institute of Technology, Center for GIS. I also am here representing the GIS Coordinating Committee, which is a volunteer statewide organization overseeing geospatial needs of Georgia. And we really have a strong state, regional, local membership at the GIS Coordinating Committee, in addition to academic and private sector participation. And I have to say that I, I have federal monies to do the statewide geospatial strategic planning, but I couldn't do it without all of these people, passionate people in the geospatial community, just stepping up saying, how can I help? What can we do? And Eric and I, and along with former Governor Jim Geringer of Wyoming, went and visited Governor Sonny Perdue in his office, partly as a courtesy visit to, for Geringer to kind of identify that he was in the state and he was engaging with a lot of the senior staff, um, and partly so that we could debrief Governor Perdue on what we're doing since we are also talking with state agency administrators, et cetera. And I'm very happy to say that Governor Purdue knows all about GPS and GIS and understands that we are very fragmented in the state of Georgia regarding coordination, geospatial coordination, and lacking leadership. So we actually left there with an action item. We're going to kind of put together an inventory for him of what statewide data sets exist, and then maybe from that start to identify a work plan of what do we need to do, what are next steps, et cetera. So we're already working with the governor's staff as well. It's been a very exciting process. We have a lot of needs and challenges, geospatially speaking, in the state of Georgia, but what we need to do for a, for a strategic plan to be effective is identify the top two or three approaches that need to be taken in order to raise the level of support for geospatial activities in Georgia. So that's why we're here. There might be nine or 15 things that need to happen, but what two or three of those things, if they happened first, would give us the maximum results that we're looking for. So the context of strategic planning, why we're here, um, essentially the United States Geological Survey has an initiative called the 50 States Initiative. And the goal is for all states to have a spatial data infrastructure that feeds up to the national level. Keith will talk to us a little bit more about that a little later today. And that all states have an, an effective enterprise geospatial program. That includes leadership, that includes support, staff, contracting authority, et cetera. Um, and then within the state of Georgia, you know, we have this federal funding to do these activities, but we don't want to just do them independent of what's going on in the state. So I'm trying to make the connection, we're all trying to make the connection between our area of expertise and how we can benefit the state of Georgia according to the governor's policy initiatives. And I'll, I'll run through those in a second. It's a really timely that we got this grant because this, what, this year in May, all the state agencies submitted their three-year strategic plans. So we can look through that and gain a lot of insights as to what our current challenges and needs and how we might be able to help provide solutions. We being the geospatial community might be able to provide solutions. If you're interested in reading more about the 50 States Initiative, you can find it through USGS's website. You can find it through NISJIC's website. NISJIC is a nonprofit group of all the state GIOs, a geographic information officer. Not all states have a GIO, but for those states who do or have a GIS coordinator, this group is comprised of those folks. The goal is to have national base map data, and that would be fed up from the states. That includes geodetic control, parcels, imagery for the nation, political boundaries, hydrography, elevation, and transportation. As many of you probably know, the, the state of Georgia has a collection of geographic data that is accessible through the Georgia GIS Clearinghouse. That's a repository of over 30,000 geofiles or geographic data sets. And we do have those critical, not critical, but those essential base map data layers for Georgia, political boundaries, hydrography, imagery, um, wetlands, et cetera. Again, the governor's policy initiatives, which are for a safe, educated, healthy, growing, best managed Georgia, we want to work within that framework as well. So you'll probably hear those terms in the showcases that are going to be presented to you today because we want to identify how geospatial technologies are enabling a better managed state. So the plan is going to be important, the ultimate you know, strategic plan that's documented and submitted to USGS in February, but it's this planning process that actually is more significant and pertinent to what we're doing than anything else. 
Um, so meeting you all, hearing your input, all of us meeting each other, this is where the meat of what we're doing right now is occurring. Um, and just to give you a sense, I don't expect you to be able to read all this, but to give you a sense of who we're trying to co collaborate with, you know, we're reaching out to the Georgia GIS Coordinating Committee, of course, the Georgia Legislature, state representatives, the Office of Planning and Budget is kind of behind the scenes helping guide us in our, in our um, efforts. The Georgia CIO Council, the Association of Regional Development Centers, all of the executive directors have given us their verbal support for these activities and, and are applying resources to what we're doing. The Georgia Municipal Association, the Technology Association of Georgia, agriculturalists, planners, utilities, organizations, just anybody I can think of and that who other people have recommended to me, we're, we're marketing these events. And we're actually getting one or two or three participants from these non-geospatial groups of people. Um, just to give you some relevant background and history, the, the Geographic Information Systems Coordinating Committee, the GICC, what has been around since 1996, as well as the Georgia GIS Clearinghouse. And actually, Georgia had the second clearinghouse in the nation behind Montana. And we were essentially a model for all other states. Um, we kind of were cutting edge, and the GIS Coordinating Committee had state statute. There was policy establishing that organization. Um, in 1999, the organization that established the GICC, which was called the Information Technology Policy Council. I know I'm throwing a lot of these terms out here, but essentially the GIS Coordinating Committee has always persisted, but it went from being legitimized to being a volunteer group in 1999. Georgia Technology Authority has, has continued to pay for the clearinghouse operations. The GIS Coordinating Committee has continued to operate completely voluntarily, no funding, no mandate. Clearinghouse has been paid by Georgia Technology Authority, but that funding has been cut four times since 1999 and is not promised for next year. So we really don't know what's gonna happen with the clearinghouse next year. And that's something I want you to keep in mind as far as creative solutions and possible possibilities. Um, but essentially, there is a very strong geospatial community of interest in Georgia. Um, so for today, we want to better understand what's going on throughout the state, positives and negatives. Um, we want your input. And we want to gauge the level of consensus on which items that are needed are most important. So I'm just going to leave you with these high-level questions so as we continue throughout the day, these kind of can be rolling around in the back of your mind. And when we do break out and when, when you do verbalize your thoughts, these are some of the things that can help guide our discussion, such as, you know, what's on your mind that, ne that needs mentioning? Do you agree with the presentation of the geospatial health in Georgia as we offer it to you? Maybe you have some insights that I'm not aware of or that somebody in this room is not aware of who's talking to you about these things. What is working? regarding geospatial activities in the state of Georgia, what's not working? And how do we get to where we want to, first of all, where do we want to be and how do we get there? So I want you to be thinking of those things.